The following comic was made by Call Me Bread the Toast. Please check out Call Me Bread the Toast Instagram. Link to their Instagram is in the description of this video. <laughs> Over dramatic. Ugh, yeah. <laughs> Shh. There, there, there. No crying, no crying. Superstars don't cry. Here, come to Papa Freddy. Mwah. From here on out, I promise I will always be there for you and I will always protect you. My little superstar. <laughs> so, the little guy's asleep. Yep, safe and sound. Are you sure he ain't crying in there? <sighs> I'm sure of it. Huh? Um, Fred? I... I just thought I saw something pass by. I better go check on him now. <laughs> sure. See you, Papa Bear. You too, Uncle Gator. <sighs> what am I going to do with you? Please don't cry, please don't cry, please don't cry, please don't cry, please don't cry. <laughs> oh no. Hey Freddy, I'm here. You need help with the baby? Oh, finally you're here, Chica. And yes, I do need your assistance. Do be careful. I just got him back to sleep. Of course. I'll be gentle with him. Apologies. I really need to recharge. Oh no. It's alright. I don't mind at all. If there is a problem, I'll be in my recharging room station. Bear's little superstar. <laughs> you! <laughs> He's too cute! My heart can't take this! <laughs> hey, that's not nice! Psh. It's your turn to babysit tomorrow. <laughs> You're pushing it, Bear. <sighs> well, I guess it's just you and me. Will you stop looking at me like that? Oh dear god, he's so adorable! I just want to pinch those cheeks! Oh my god, he's the cutest thing ever! Ah! Uh, whatever. You're too cute. Yeah. Hmm. Why are you looking at the floor? Is there something under it? Out of the way, loser! Can't you see we're having a tour here? And you're wasting our time! Sorry, ma'am. Ah, uh, stupid robot. Please, Roxy, just let me hold him for once. Please, please, please. No. But no. <sighs> hey. Oh, Roxanne, it's just you. You, you startled me there. Hmm. Your little bear cubs asleep. I wrapped him up in a blanket. I, I hope you don't mind. 
I don't mind at all. <sighs> Thanks for looking after him, Roxy. Why don't you take a break? I'll take it from here. Yeah, yeah, and you're welcome. Oh, and Roxy? Hmm? You're the best. See you around. You like that, didn't you? Shut up! Sheesh. I'm next. Give the kid Fred. I swear if he wakes up, I'll kill you. That story was not nice. You made the little baby cry. Oh, come on, Freddy. It was just a fun story. No harm from it. <laughs> I don't think you heard me. You owe the little baby an apology. <laughs> Papa Bear. I don't care who or what you are. You're not gonna touch this sweet little bean. Huh? Ah. <laughs> you truly are my little superstar. Hey, little guy. Are you in laser tag? Hmm. Hey, Chica, are you making Gregory pizza? Hey, little superstar, are you in the arcade? Oh, where could he be? I must have lost him. Oh, there you are, my little superstar. How are they going to put me on cleaning duty? Seriously, the place is named after me. I swear, if I wasn't programmed to be nice to Vanessa, I'd punch her right in the... Oh, what was that? Uh, hello? If you're an evil killer dressed in purple, please say yes. Oh, who would leave a small little bean like you under there? Oh my goodness, come here, come here. No, no crying, no crying. Well, what does it say here? Gregory, is that your name, little guy? Um, Freddy, what do you think you're doing? Oh, oh nothing, Vanessa, nothing at all. Well, hurry up, we got a show coming up. Ooh, that was close. What am I gonna do with you, my little superstar? You got this, Roxy. No one's better than you. You're the best. Nothing can stop you. Roxanne, I need your help! Except for the most annoying bear in the world. What is it, Freddy? Roxanne, I'm in trouble. I need your help with something. Well, it had better be important. Because if it's not, I'm going to punch you right in the... cutest little cheeks I've ever seen in my life! Oh, Freddy, where did you find this little darling? Oh, uh, I found him outside in the trash. Freddy, just because we found you outside in the trash doesn't mean you can bring in other people's kids. Oh, I know. The little guy was just all alone. Uh, I don't know what to do. Well, obviously you have to help the little darling. Does that mean you'll help me take care of him? No, no, no. I said you have to help the little darling. I'm going on stage. Why don't you ask Chica? Oh my goodness. You're the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Come to Mama! Chica, please, I need your help. Freddy, this better be really important for you interrupting my pizza time. Well, this worked with Roxanne. Maybe this will work with you. Sorry, Freddy. You know I hate children. What, do you expect me to watch him while you go around trying to find a way to help the little kid? Actually, yeah. Freddy, why do you even have that kid? Oh, I found him outside in the trash. I couldn't leave him all alone. Freddy, just because we found you outside in the trash doesn't mean you can bring random kids in the same way. Yeah, yeah, Roxy already made that joke. Could you just watch him for a little bit, please? Fine! As long as he doesn't bother me. Now, get back to you, my sweet thing. No! You can't have any of my pizza! It's mine! Oh, fine, fine. You can have one slice. Nom! <sighs> Maybe you're not so bad after all. Hmm, so the next time I talk to Vanessa, I'm gonna ask her if her pants are from outer space. 
because her butt is out of this world. Yeah, that'll work for sure. Hey Monty, could you not be a creep for five seconds and do me a favor? Sure, Freddy. What is it? I need you to watch this cute little bean for me for a few minutes. See, I have to go on stage, and I'm trying to hide him from Vanessa. Uh, Freddy, where did you find that little kid? Oh, I found him in the trash out back. Freddy, just because we found you in the trash out back doesn't mean you can bring random kids. Okay, okay. Why do you guys keep telling that joke? Um, Freddy, it's not a joke. 20 years ago? Da da! Huh? But don't worry about that, Freddy. I'll watch the little kid. Go on stage and do your thing. Thanks, Monty. Now you be good, little bean. Oh no! Oh no, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Don't cry! Please stop crying! Because... Now I'll start to cry! <laughs> Come on, little bean. Say Papa, Papa. No, say Mama Roxy. Say Mama Roxy. Um, guys, I think we should say hi, because Vanessa's coming. Hey, Vanessa, what's going on? Okay, guys, quit playing around. I know you're hiding something. What do you mean? We're not hiding anything. <laughs> Aha, wait a minute. <laughs> what was... <laughs> oh, get out of there! Oh my god, what are you guys doing for baby? I know, I know, Vanessa. Just because you guys found me in the trash 20 years ago doesn't mean I can bring random children in here. No, you just can't bring in a baby, period. Please, Vanessa, he's got nowhere to go. Can't we at least keep him until we find his real parents? Okay, guys, you can take the kid, but only until we report it to the police and we find his proper parents. Ah, oh, God. The stuff I get into. <laughs> oh my goodness, Freddy. What's wrong with Gregory? I don't know, Roxy. Chica fed him pizza a little bit ago, and he's just been sitting there all sad. Oh, you silly bear. He needs to be burped. Well, how do you do that? Oh, just watch this. Come to Auntie Roxy, Gregory. All right, just let it out. Let it out. <laughs> that was amazing. Well, let me give it a try. Okay, little bean. Let it all out. Let it all out. <laughs> um, Freddy, I think you might need to practice this a little bit. Yeah, little bean. You're going to grow up to be big and strong, just like your papa bear. Oh dear god, what is that smell? Uh, I don't know, Roxanne. My nose sensors are broken. Uh, Freddy, have you changed Gregory yet? Changed him into what? A superhero? No, you moron! Changed his diaper! No, I've never done it before. Uh, could you do it, Roxanne, since you burped him? Oh no, Bear. This one is all yours. But, Roxy, I don't know how! It's just like changing your underwear. Oh, Roxy, I don't wear underwear. Just do it! Okay, okay, I got this. We'll just unbutton this, and... Where are you pointing that thing at? Ah! Gregory, where did you get that squirt gun? Okay, little bean, come to Papa Bear. Come to Papa Bear. No, 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 no. Come to Auntie Roxy. Come to Auntie Roxy. Oh, look, he's choosing... Well, looks like he chose me. Bonnie! Hey, guys, I'm back. What are you doing back here, man? Well, as you know, guys, I was at the sister location helping out. And all I can say is, it was not a fun time. But no worries, the best bunny is back. And it's so nice to have you back. Yeah, especially in one piece, and not torn apart by an alligator. Yeah, you hear that comment section? I'm innocent. So tell me, Freddy. What's the story about this cute little bean? Well, I was outside cleaning up trash, and I found the guy under a cardboard box. I couldn't leave him alone. There wasn't anyone there. Freddy! I know, I know. I shouldn't be picking up random kids in the parking lot, especially since that's the way everybody found me. That's not what I was going to say. 
I was gonna say, I always knew you'd make a good father someday. Man, I missed you, best buddy. I missed all you guys, too. Hey, sorry to cut this short, but there's something I gotta check on real quick. I promise I'll be right back. You were right. He is adorable, Master. But don't worry. I'm sure you can come up with some plan to get rid of him. Hmm. You are just too adorable, you know that? You're pretty cute yourself there, Chica. <laughs> Stop it, you. You think you come back here after spending all that time with the sister location and be all buttering up to me? Because you're right. Huh? Uh-oh. Looks like someone's a little jealous. Huh. Sorry, guy. You gotta share her with me. <coughs> he... he slapped me! Hey, little bean. Why'd you do that? Mwah! Oh, it doesn't matter what you do. You're just too precious. Okay, little bean. Say Papa Bear. Say Papa Bear. No, 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 no. Say Mama Roxy. Say Mama Roxy. Hey, how about he says, Uncle Monty needs a girlfriend. Shut up, Monty! Hey, guys, it doesn't matter what his first word is. As long as he knows, we're always there for him and we'll always love him. Mama Goose. <laughs> uh, don't take it personal, guys. He doesn't even know that I'm a chicken. Mama Goose, Mama Goose. Where's Gregory? Where's Gregory? Oh, there he is. Where's Gregory? Where's Gregory? There he is. <laughs> You're such a cute little bean. Uh, Freddy, what are you doing? I'm playing peekaboo with a little superstar. You want to try? Uh, sure. Where's Gregory? Where's Gregory? No. Where's Gregory? Um. Monty, <laughs> I lost him! Freddy, where is he? Where is he? Monty! Oh no, I knew it! Bonnie took him away! Bonnie took him away! I should have destroyed him when I had the chance! The comments were right! Monty, lift up your hands! Oh, oh, uh, sorry there, Gregory. You really are an idiot. Alright, my little darling. I hope you're ready for a surprise, because you're going to meet my cousin. Oh, there she is now. Come in. Yar, cuz. How ye been? Oh, I've been fine, Cousin Foxy. It must be really crazy at that sister location with Bonnie in charge. Yar, I dare not talk about him. But who be your new crewmate? Oh, oh, this is Gregory. You could say he's kind of the new mascot for us. Yar! Congratulations, cousin. I knew you and Freddy would get together eventually. Also, Eat explains why you've been getting fat. First, Freddy found him outside in the dumpster. Secondly, you say that again, you're not going to survive to see a second cameo on the show. I only be Josh in ya. I only be Josh in ya. Hmm. He looks a little shrimpy. Might have to make him walk the plank. <laughs> You better watch out, Foxy. He might make you walk the plank. <laughs> so, Bonnie, have you gotten the child? Oh, no, I haven't, my master. I'm sorry. What? Why have you not taken the child from Freddy? Okay, little bean. Your diapers all change. Now, come give Papa Bear a hug. Huh. I wonder what that was. Really? That's why you couldn't take him? I'm sorry, Master. Uh, just give me one more chance. Tomorrow he's with Chica. Huh. She's got a crush on me. There's no chance she can resist me. So, I see a bunny, but I don't see a baby. What went wrong now? Um, sir? I thought Chica loved me. I thought Chica wanted me. But... Who's the cutest little bean in the world? It's you! <laughs> I swear, you're the only little man in the world that I would give up trash and pizza for. <laughs> I don't think that's true, Chica. Why don't you toss away the little bean sprout and come bowling with me? Just give him here and I'll put him in the daycare. <laughs> hey, what was that for? Ow! Well, I just did the nose honk test, and it's the easiest way to tell the difference between a prince 
and a clown. And buddy, you're nothing but a clown. Now, get out of here and leave me alone for little Bean. My mama goose. My mama goose. Well, I guess I can't agree with her. You are nothing but a clown. Huh. I give you one last chance. Take it from Roxanne, or else. So I ask for a baby, and I get a bunny with a black eye. Okay, sir, before you get mad at me, let me explain. Potty cake, potty cake. You're a baker's man. Look, it's a wolf and a fox in need of a man. Come on, Roxy. Ditch the kid, and let's have a romantic duet. Ugh, God, you're becoming as creepy as Monty. Well, almost. What about you, my fiery fox? Are you ready to sail the seven seas of romance? And why don't you leave that kid at the dock? I know just the port to leave him at. Yar, I'd rather be at Davy Jones' locker than spend a minute with you. So that's how you lost a child and got a black eye. Uh, yeah, that's how I lost a child, but that's not how I got the black eye. I got that from... Ow! Oh, why'd you do that for? Eh, I wanted to give some fan service to everybody commenting Monty killed Bonnie. That's it! That's the last time you'll fail me. You can still be a spy, but I'm leaving the baby taking to a professional. No! Not him! He hasn't been seen since 2018! And that's like centuries in internet terms! Happy birthday, little bean! Even though I don't know how old you are, I figured you'd like having a birthday. So, we picked this day up for you. Um, Freddy, I'm really glad you want to give him a birthday, but did we have to take him here? Oh, what's wrong with this place? We're at Chuck E. Cheese! You don't see a problem with this! I just figured the little bean would like a change of scenery for once. Besides, Chica doesn't mind. So, uh, I gotta ask, do alligators hit on you too? Aside, look at the little bean. He's so happy, he already ate his cupcake. Yum! Um, Freddy, did you take the wrapper off that cupcake? Oh dear God, call the hospital right now. Freddy, I don't think you need to call the hospital, but I think you're the one who has to change his diaper next. Okay, little bean, I'm gonna be right back. I've programmed the map bot, though, to look after you and change your diaper if you need it. Don't worry, I'll be right back. <coughs> you are too adorable. Oh, so you're the one who took everything from us. Well, don't worry. We're gonna take everything from you. <laughs> Dirty diaper detected. Wait, what? Hey, let me go! Removing dirty diaper. What do you mean, dirty diaper? I don't even wear pants! Ah! Diaper removal complete. Now, cleaning dirty area. Hey, get away from there! That's my inkwell! Ah! And so you were defeated by a dirty diaper. <sighs> Looks like I'm surrounded by nothing but failures. Guess I'm going to have to use someone who's used to teaching people lessons. Hey Chica, thanks for saying yes to going out on Valentine's Day date with me. <laughs> it's nice to not be alone for once, but in the end, I knew you couldn't resist me. First of all, you gullible gator, I didn't say yes to a date with you. I said yes to a date with you and this adorable little bean. Hmm. You know, in a sick way, they actually look kind of cute together. You know what? I actually agree with you. Oh, what was that? Hey, uh, Roxanne, would you, uh, want to go out on a Valentine's date with me? First of all, Freddy, Valentine's Day is going to be over after the day. And second of all, uh, I think I would love to go out on a date with you. As as long as the kid comes along. Well, Chica, since it's Valentine's Day, could you at least give me a Valentine's Day kiss? Okay, close your eyes and pucker up! Well, 
I guess I'll take what I can get. Um, Freddy, it's really nice you took me out on a date, but did we have to go to Chuck E. Cheese again? Hey, you said we had to bring along the kid, so he got the shows where we ate. I guess that's fair. Um, Freddy, I wanted to ask you something. When you asked me out on a date, did you feel something weird? Like, it was natural for us to be together? Actually, yeah, Roxanne. Uh, now that you mention it, something weird did happen when I asked you out. Like, us being together was something natural. Yeah, it felt that way for me too. But uh, I don't want to get your hopes up, this was just a one-time only thing. Oh yeah, I understand, I understand, Roxanne. Well, since Monty got a kiss on Valentine's Day, would you like one too, Freddy? Oh yeah, go ahead. Bring the little bean up here to give me a kiss on the cheek. Mwah! Happy late Valentine's Day, Freddy. Ah, uh, Papa Bear, Mama Wolf. Alright, ye land lover. If you're going to be sailing the seven seas with me, you better be learning some more words. Let's start with simple. Call me Auntie Foxy. Auntie Foxy. Yar, Foxy, yar. Huh. English lessons. Everybody knows the most important lesson is math. And today's lesson is pain. Um, excuse me, sir. Who are you? I have a better question. What is two plus two? Um, four, obviously. Great job! Now, what's two times two? Um, two? Ow! Let's try this again, shall we? One eternity later. Okay, for the 800th time, what is two times two? Fifteen? Ah! You know what? Keep the kid. Any child that's in the care of someone as dumb as you is obviously doomed. Huh. Why was that guy so mad that I didn't know that 2 times 2 is 4? Hey, I got it! So, the teacher failed me as well. I guess I don't need a teacher. I need a hunter. Oh, I'm sorry there. I can't kidnap that kid. I just got a show on Netflix. Fine. Bonnie, you're up the bat again. But this time... You're getting an upgrade. Oh, look at the precious little bean. <laughs> oh, don't cry there, little bean. I'm just going to pluck you from the garden and take you to harvest. <laughs> if you dare harm a hair on this kid, I will flush you down the toilet with the rest of the crap. Now get out of here! Yeet! Hey, Greg, are you okay? Did he hurt you? Gregory's okay, but you're not. Ah! 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 Don't fight it. Just let it take over. Let it make you the monster that you once were. Yeah, that's it. Leave him alone! Monty, are you okay? Oh! Well, looks like you're gonna be distracted for a little bit, Freddy. Don't worry, I'll take care of Gregory for you. No! Gregory! No! Monty, let me go! Let me go! Don't worry, Freddy. We got him. Oh, thank you, Roxanne. Don't just stand there. Bonnie's got Gregory. Go get him! Go get him! And as for you, Chica, take him down. Constantly hitting on me! After! I tell you! No! Uh, good job there, Chica. Uh, you can stop any time now. You're not gonna stop, are you? Oh, no crying. No crying, little bean. It'll all be over soon. That's right, it'll be over soon! You let my little superstar go right now! How rude of you, Freddy. You are so inconsiderate. I already have other guests over. Now, boys! Ah! Bonnie! 
Uh, why are you doing this? Oh, I thought we were friends! Oh, Freddy. I'm not doing anything. It's all his plan. That's right, Freddy. It was always me. It was always me. All along. Hi, Monty. Are you okay? Uh, I think so, Chica. But did you really have to punch me? Like, punch me for an hour straight? I know. I'm really, really sorry about that, Monty. But I was just so worried that that purple stuff wouldn't come off you. On top of that, I'm even more worried about Freddy. I think he's in over his head going alone over there. <sighs> I'm afraid you're right, Chica. And there's only one thing to do. Hello? System location? Oh, hi! Is this the birthday boy? No, you buffoon! It's Roxanne Wolf. And I think Glamrock Freddy's in trouble. He's gonna need your help, plus the rest of the gang. So, Chica, if you're really sorry about hitting me for that long, you can always go on a date with me to make up for it. Monty, I can punch you for two hours this time if you want. Wait, who are you? Oh, Freddy, don't you remember me? Your old friend Gregory? You're not Gregory. Gregory's over there. I am so much more than that cheap knockoff. Come on, Freddy. Don't you remember our adventures? For almost a year, you and me had all these fun adventures, and every week we'd go on a different one, be it trying to catch Fanny, messing with my father, or your awkward relationship with Roxanne. Oh, I'm starting to remember now. What, what happened? Well, I got replaced. What? You heard him. He got replaced. Just like I got replaced by Baldy. And just like I got replaced by Poppy's Playtime. Yes, Freddy. It's an endless circle. We all keep getting replaced. Just like I got replaced by this thing. I even tried to change what I look like to stay with you. And still, I was thrown to the side. I had to stay down here in order to stay alive. So, I gathered everyone who was replaced. Hell, I was even able to gather Bonnie, who got replaced in his own game, and people don't even know he's canon. Well, no more. No more being replaced. And it all starts by getting rid of him. Gregory. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I forgot you. But that doesn't make it okay for you to do what you're about to do. Oh, what? Are you going to stop me, Freddy? No. But there's something you forgot about being replaced. FNAF animatronics, we always come back. Ah! Ah, oh, let me go! Ah! Bunny, stop them! Right. Oh, thanks for ordering that. Ah! Don't touch the birthday boy! It's over, Gregory. You lost. No. No. It's so unfair. I just... I just didn't want to be forgotten. Greg, come here. I'm sorry I forgot you. But everything has a beginning. It has an end, and we always start out with the best intentions, and sometimes we end up toying around, and we can't even phantom what comes next. It could be our worst nightmares, or it could be a lot of fun times, and just when we think things are over, we get a brand new start. But I just want to let you know, Greg, no matter what you look like, or who you are, you will always be my little superstar. Welcome back, sweet thing. We missed you. <laughs> Mama Goose. Mama Goose. I 
go ahead and cut me whatever you want. I'm just glad you're safe. So yeah, it turns out there was an alternate Gregory in the basement this entire time, and I had adventures with him for about a year. Yeah, Freddy, I remember. What? Why didn't you tell me? Well, I figured only somebody really dumb would forget hanging out with their best friend for about a year. You really know how to kick a guy when he's down, don't you, Monty? I'm so happy you're safe, Gregory. But there's somebody here who wants to say something to you. Yeah, I'm sorry, Greg. I didn't mean to attack you. I got possessed by the bunny. Could you ever forgive me? <laughs> I think that's a good start, Monty. Yar, gather around, crew. Our little shipmate has names for us all. Uh, Captain Anty, Captain Anty. What's my name, Little Bean? As if I have to guess. Papa Bear. What about me, Little Bean? You got a name for Chica? Mama Goose, Mama Goose. <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way. How about a name for me, Gregory? Auntie Roxy. What? No Mama Roxy? Mama Wolf, Mama Wolf. Uh, close enough, kiddo. What about me, Gregory? What about a name for your Uncle Monty? Simp Gator. Did, did he, did he just call me a simp? Yeah, Monty, he just called you Simp Gator. How does it feel to be roasted by a toddler? Gregory, don't go too far, okay? I won't, Mama Wolf. Huh? <laughs> Hi! Oh my goodness, Gregory. It's a butterfly, and it came to say hello. <laughs> butterfly? I love you. Oh, bye-bye, butterfly. Uh, Mama Roxy, why'd the butterfly fall? Oh dear, I'm sorry, Gregory. I think the butterfly's gone. Well, she'll come back, right? Just like we'll come back to see Freddy. No, Gregory. You see, we're only on this planet for a very short time. And when our time comes to go, we're gone forever. But that's unfair, Auntie Roxy. I want the butterfly to come back. I know you do, Gregory. I know. And yes, you're right. It's not fair. But you know what is fair? The way how you treated that butterfly with respect and love when he greeted you. And that's what's fair. To be good, natured, and kind to people while we are still here. Just like I promised to treat you with respect and love the same way you treat me with respect and love as long as I'm here with you. Is... is he gonna be okay? I don't think so, Monty. I mean, the voice box and everything's there. But everything else, all of his backup data, is all gone. Funtime Freddy hit him pretty hard. We're gonna basically have to remake him from scratch up in the head. Hey, there's something I gotta do, Monty. Can you watch the kid for a little bit? Um, sure. Where are you going, Freddy? The Pizza Plex is getting a bowling alley, and we need a new mascot. So Vanessa and I are having a meeting to discuss how to advertise for it. Thanks again, Monty, for watching the kid. A new mascot, huh? Kid, let's get to work. A few hours later. Thanks again, Monty, for watching. Hey, who are you? Oh, uh, don't you remember me, Freddy? It's your old pal, Bowling Bonnie. Monty, what did you do? Well, you said we needed to remake him from the ground up. And let's be honest, what was there wasn't that great in the first place. So, he's now Bowling Bonnie, the new mascot of the Pizza Plex Bowling Alley. Bowling Bonnie, Bowling Bonnie. Well, you're lucky the kid approves there, Monty. <sighs> At least this time you didn't completely destroy him. Will you stop that, Freddy? All right, little guy, just bend over, get your knees right, and push that ball right down the lane. Oh my god, he's just too cute. Yeah, the little bean gets cuter and cuter every day, doesn't he? Yeah, the, the little bean. Oh, you were talking about Bonnie, huh? Uh, so you like the new look, huh? Wait it, Freddy! Oh, it's okay, Chica. I'd be happy if you guys were a thing. Well, I don't know. I mean, I know he forgot everything, but there's still all the stuff he did in the past. Ha ha ha. 
Great job, little bowler. You're gonna be a professional striker before you know it. Pro striker, pro striker. Well, maybe I should give him a chance. Yeah, you don't want to be single like Monty, do you? Okay, that's it. I'm asking him out tomorrow. Keep it up, buddy. I'll have you throwing strikes in no time. Hey, Bonnie, can I ask you a question? Sure there, sugar. What's up? Well, I was wondering if you would care to go out with me. Oh, sure, Chica. I could always use a friend to go out with. Uh, not like that. Uh, I meant something more. Oh my goodness, Chica. Of course, yes. I'd love to. Really? Yeah. You want to be my bowling buddy. I could use one. Heck, we can even bring the little bean with us. Bowling buddy. Bowling buddy. Ah, what have I gotten myself into? You know, Chica, if you wanted to go on a date, all you had to do was ask me. Oh, thanks, Monty. You made me realize there could be a lot worse things than being a bowling buddy. I can't go one day without being roasted, can I? Bonnie, thank you for taking me out with the bean, but there's something I would really like to talk to you about. Oh, just one second, Chica. Okay, little bean, push with your hips and thrust forward. Alright, strike! Great job! Now, let me show you how an old pro does it. Alright, knees lined up, back in position, and go! Alright, strike! Okay, Chica, it's up to you now. Show us some girl power. Oh gosh, oh gosh, I'm kinda nervous, I'm kinda nervous. Chica, just do what I told you. Breathe in, breathe out, and let go. You can do this. Alright, breathe in, breathe out, and let go! Oh, uh, Chica, don't worry, don't worry. It was your first time bowling. Uh, good job, good job. Good job! Somehow me throwing a bowling ball burnt down the bowling alley! <laughs> wow, Gregory, you're really good at rolling this. Alright, get ready. I'm gonna roll back to you. Oh no. Darn it, where did I put that bowling ball at? Uh, uh, that hurt. Where? Where am I? That's not the question you should be asking yourself. The question you should be asking yourself is, Who am I? Huh? Who, who are you? Again, a question for yourself. Because I know who I am. I'm what's locked deep down within you. I'm all the darkness and tragedy your friends thought wasn't there anymore. What, what do you want? I want what was taken away from me. I want what you have right now. And nothing's gonna stop me from taking it back. Not even Gregory! Especially not him. No! Look, Gregory! What the? Uncle Bonnie, you okay? Yeah, kid, I'm okay, I'm okay. I just had a bad nightmare is all. Or was it a nightmare? Let's see, and then I'll walk up to Vanessa and say, if you were a booger, I'd pick you first. Yeah, that one would work for sure. Hey, Monty, I have a favor I need to ask you. Uh, sure, Bonnie, what's up? I need you to knock me out. What? No! I get harassed enough for people asking me if I killed you, even though I rebuilt you! Please, Monty. If you do this, I'll help you get a girlfriend. Um, Monty- Oh, no! Ugh. I guess I should have said maybe help him with his pickup lines instead of just getting a girlfriend. Well, the, the hard part's over. Now, where are you? I know you're there. I didn't think I'd see you so soon again. So, did you decide to give me back my body? No? I came back to give you an offer? I don't think you can refuse. An offer I can't refuse, huh? Well, I guess I really don't have much of a choice seeing as I'm trapped inside your subconscious. What do you have in mind? Well, I looked up all the horrible things you did, 
when you were under control of the other Gregory. And a lot of those things are inexcusable. But you don't deserve to be punished like this. Also, it seems all the Glamrocks really liked you, and were really sad you would do some of the stuff you did. So I propose we fuse together. One mind, one bunny. What do you say, pal? Question. Do you mean fuse like Steven Universe or Dragon Ball Z? Oh, uh, Dragon Ball Z. Awesome, let's do it. Uncle Bunny, are you okay? You look different. I've never been better, kid. I've never been better. Okay, girl. We're just gonna have to get over the fact Bowling Bonnie doesn't like us. I mean, he's not even that cute anyway. I mean, with those buck teeth and everything. Oh my god, he got hotter. Hey, Monty, I just want to thank you so much for going me and knocking me out when I asked you to. Please, just let me know if there's anything, and I mean anything, I can do. Well, you did say you were going to help me try to get a girlfriend. Monty, you don't need my help. You got everything you need in you. Oh yeah, that's why I keep getting punched in the face, stabbed, and hit with a flashlight in pickup lines with Monty Gator. Monty, I think I know what the problem is. The problem is your low self-esteem attitude. See, why don't you go over there and ask Chica and her cousin out? But before you give one of those cheesy pickup lines, why don't you just say, you guys look nice today. It's an opening. Try it out. Alright, I'll give it a go. Five minutes later. So, how'd it go, Bonnie? Did you get a date? Yeah, I got a date. For you from Chica. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. What about her sister? She wants a double date. Oh, see there, buddy? There you go. I got you a date. We just have to go together. No, she doesn't want a double date as I date her and you date her sister. No, they both just want to date you! <laughs> Simp Gator, Simp Gator! Ho ho! I finally get to meet the famous Little Bean! Aren't you happy to meet me, Gregory? Oh, don't be like that! We get finger paint, tell stories, and... What do you have there? Get away from there! No! That's a light switch! If you touch that, I'll... I'll finally be free. Thank you, little one. Now, let me reward you. Woo! That was close. Oh, thank you, Gregory. Now I can... Destroy your face. With kisses! And obliterate you. With hugs! Okay, can you please stop that? It's... Getting... Annoying. That's it. Bad children must be punished. You touch him, and I'm gonna shove your head where the sun don't shine. 